Well, unlike a lot of literature, poetry is designed to be read out loud and sometimes even sung. Writing poetry can be calming and has the power to connect us with one another. Bruce Roseland and Christine Stewart know all about expressing their ideas through writing. They're with the South Dakota State Poetry Society, and they're here to tell us about uh, their group and how you can get involved. So, hey, thanks for being here today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank yeah. you. So let's, let's <laughs> first talk about what this group is all about, uh, where it came from, the history of the mission. Bruce, I'll ask you that question. Okay. Uh, I first started in uh, 1927 by uh, Dr. Lindbergh. Um, he was a professor at the Northern State College. Uh, and actually, the, uh, the magazine that Christine's going to talk about, Past Petals, actually started a year before that in Aberdeen by uh, Dr. Lindbergh. Anyway, uh, over a course of time, our organization has uh, is uh, made up, uh, trans uh, formed, and being made up of uh, 15 uh, poets, people who write poetry, who uh, are in all walks of life in South Dakota. Uh, I myself, uh, I'm a rancher, and uh, we have an executive board, uh, so that's, we're, we're a nonprofit. So that's how we're, we're organized, and uh, we have a website, uh, sdpoetry.org. And, um, well, uh, we, we have a number of things we do because our mission is to promote and foster poetry across uh, the South Dakota by South Dakota writers. And uh, one of them is uh, we have an annual chapbook contest. Uh, we have an annual poetry contest. Uh, we work with the, uh, the South Dakota Festival of Books in the uh, poetry track. Um, we, we put on uh, various events throughout the year. And uh, one of the other things that we do, which is now a, a four-year term, is uh, we um, recommend a candidate for uh, uh, the South Dakota Poet Laureate to the governor. And uh, that's, that's something that yeah. would uh, kind of a kind of a big thing in yeah, South Dakota. Right. So, Christine, let's get into poetry a little bit and, and talk about poem writing, poetry writing mm -hmm. in general. And I'm curious to know about the different styles. What, what makes up a poem? Are there different styles of poetry? Sure, there writing? are lots of different styles of poetry, but f as editor of Pask Petals, I really look for poems that have strong imagery that will make me see something in a new and fresh way. So you, we, you could submit poems that rhyme traditionally or free verse. It could be in a traditional form or it could be a spoken word. It could be cowboy poetry. It doesn't really matter what style it is as long as it uses good sound and good imagery. It says something fresh and it stands out. So uh, here's one. I think this is a poem. Mm -hmm. I can row a boat. Canoe, canoe. <laughs> is that a poem? It could be. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of I a start joke. Being corny. Let's talk about the magazine. Oh, this magazine has like got an impressive history. Talk it does. about the history of this magazine. Well, it's over it's over 90 years old and it's been continually published during that time. It's one of the longest standing poetry magazines in the state national state national, poetry yeah, right. societies. So that's we've managed to keep it going over the years and it's changed from, you know, just mimeographed, stapled kind of newslettery types of things to this really professionally designed um, and edited volume we have going now. We publish it twice a year in the fall and in the spring. And the only difference is just we typically get different kinds of poetry during those volumes. But we, we try to keep it regular deadline so that people know, keep, people keep it on their radar so they know they can submit to it. So how can somebody, can somebody submit uh, some of their writings to this magazine? Is that the purpose Absolutely. Of so how does somebody do we, that? Um, at sdpoetry.org, there's a link to the different things we do, the contests and the submissions for past petals. And so you can submit it electronically. I only accept poems by South Dakota or South Dakota affiliated poets, which means that you have to tell me in your bio how you're connected to South Dakota. So that could be you're educated here, you were born here. Um, so some, sometimes uh, people, public, uh, people submit from the UK and the Netherlands, but they used to live here or they went to school here. As long as they tell me you know, what their connection is to South Dakota, they can submit. And then I'm pretty choosy about what poems make the cut. We don't have a very, we have about 100 pages we can fill. And so I take those, like I said before, the poems that really make me see something new and different in a fresh way. So let's talk about the contest. There's two, two components of it, Bruce. So what's the first one is uh, 
uh, there's two different types of poems. The chap book. Yeah, the chap book. So let's talk about is, that a little bit. Uh, a chapbook is considered, let's say, a small book of poetry. Uh, generally speaking, it's, it's not more than 40 pages. For our purposes, it's like 30 pages, up to 30 pages. And uh, it, it's a, uh, a personal collection of original poetry that people have uh, written. Uh, the annual contest, that's uh, on landscape and, and well, uh, portrait or personality. So it's uh, somebody that really struck you, you know, in a vivid way or a South Dakota landscape. Uh, and uh, I, I think it's one of the things in which the, uh, our, well, this is the past pedals. It's one of them. Yeah. Is uh, I, I, I uh, wrote some, and I, I got kind of lucky, and I got published uh, back in the early 2000s, okay? And as I was going around the state, I really quickly recognize that there's very few venues for people to express themselves this way, particularly uh, in a public audience or a place to, uh, you know, submit their poetry. So I, this is the thing that we, I think we kind of feel our purpose in South Dakota. Um, a lot of people, very few people, uh, have a novel in them, but many people <laughs> have a poem in them. And a poem, it, to me, is like a short story that you know, a person talks about what is meaningful in their life. You know, it's, it's a lot of times it's very intense and very personal. Um, but that I think that's a, what our purpose yeah. is. Yeah, no, it's good. So uh, that's good information. I appreciate you guys uh, uh, sharing with us a little bit about what you're doing. It's a unique group, and uh, we've got a little bit more information. If you'd like to read uh, more about the South Dakota State Poetry Society, or if you're interested in entering one of the contests, we've got a link with more information for you on our Kelloland Living page at kelloland.com.